let me ask you a question. Have you ever experienced this? You know, you walk into a room and you just sense the energy is horrible, off the charts, bad. It's negative. There is a pain body in that room. Eckhart Tolle explains it in the book how this person came to see him for a counseling session and there was all this negativity in the room and then all of a sudden it left. And then he went to a restaurant and there was a man in the restaurant that was throwing a big fit. That pain body that left the room went into the restaurant and then came out of the restaurant when the man left. And somebody asked Eckhart at the table, the, the waiter asked him, he goes, did you cause all this? Because Eckhart, but in a way he kind of did because he said he knew the pain body. Boom, jump, jump, jump. Have you ever experienced that yourself? I'm sure you have. Pain body is a very dense thing. I watched somebody who grew up in my world, saw them be birthed. They have a very, very dense pain body. What does that mean? That means that they experience pain very much so, and they're very unconscious of it. The way to overcome the pain body is to become conscious of it and aware of how it's affecting you. And that's what we're talking about today. Next up, we confront the pain body. You know, that sneaky emotional baggage we all carry. Picture it as a grumpy little creature inside of you, lurking in the shadows, ready to bring you down. But fret not, Eckhart Tolle's got our back. He's guiding us to recognize and transcend that pesky pain body. As we release its grip, we become lighter, freer, and fully equipped to conquer the world. Have you ever felt trapped in a cycle of emotional pain and suffering? The concept of the pain body, as explored in A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, offers profound insights into understanding and transcending this inner turmoil. Get ready to embark on a transformative journey toward liberation and find the key to lasting peace. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy Owen. On this channel, we talk about having a growth mindset, fitness, healthy habits, and even some reality transurfing. Today, we are talking about understanding the pain body in the book, A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. To me, the pain body relates to a pendulum and reality transurfing very much so. And that's what we're talking about today. If you like today's video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you never miss a video from Have you ever felt trapped in a cycle of emotional pain and suffering? Eckhart defines the pain body as the accumulation of old emotional pain that almost all people carry in their energy field. It is a reservoir of past hurts, traumas, and negative emotions that can often dictate our thoughts, actions, and interactions with others. However, with awareness and practice, we can free ourselves from its grip and experience a renewed sense of lightness and joy. Let's dive into some practical exercises to help you understand and transcend the pain body. Number one, and I talk about this all the time, it's cultivate awareness. Start by observing the patterns of emotional reactivity that arise within you. Notice the triggers that activate your pain body, such as specific situations, people, or memories. As you become more aware of these patterns, you gain the power to consciously choose how to respond rather than react automatically. Number two, mindful presence. Practice being fully present in the here and now. Engage in activities that bring you into the present moment, such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or mindful movement. By anchoring yourself in the present, you create space for observing the pain body without becoming entangled in its grip. Number three, release identification. Recognize that the pain body is not your true essence. It is a collective of old wounds and conditioning that you have carried, but are not intrinsic to who you are. When painful emotions arise, remind yourself that they are passing through you and do not define you and your core being. Repeat affirmations such as, 
I am not my pain, or I am the awareness that transcends it. And number four, cultivate compassion. Extend compassion to yourself and others as you navigate the complexities of the pain body. Understand that everyone carries their own emotional wounds and struggles. Practice forgiveness, both for yourself and those who may have contributed to your pain. Compassion acts as a healing balm, nurturing your journey towards transcending suffering. Eckhart Tolle wisely reminds us the pain body wants to survive, just like any other entity in its existence. And it can only survive if it gets you to unconsciously identify with it. Wow, does that ever sound like the pendulum in reality transurfing? But by becoming aware of the pain body and disidentifying from it, you know, reducing importance, you reclaim your power and free yourself from the grips of suffering. If you'd like to know more about reality transurfing and pendulums, I have a free download that can help you cultivate awareness. It helps you identify the destructive and constructive pendulums we have in our lives. You can find that at kathyowen.com backslash reality dash transurfing. As you embark on this journey of understanding and transcending the pain body, trust that each step forward brings you closer to liberation and inner peace. Remember, my friend, the path may not always be easy, but the rewards are immeasurable. In next week's video, we will discuss the art of letting go that we've talked about so much on this channel. It's an essential practice in releasing attachments and experiencing the freedom that lies beyond. Also, like importance in reality transurfing, get ready to liberate yourself and make space for a renewed sense of joy and possibility. Stay committed, stay curious, and watch as your transformation unfolds before your very eyes. All right, that's my episode for today. I trust that you found it helpful. If you know someone who can benefit from this, please share it with them. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Peace out and namaste.